this. Have you guys seen this story? This is pretty wild, man. This TikTok influencer. Have you seen this? TikTok influencer Mamek Bukhari and her mother, Anshreen Bukhari, found guilty of murder. Have you guys heard about this story? It's pretty wild. Let me play this video from Sky News. Mamek Bukhari had over 120,000 followers on TikTok. As a social media influencer, she posted regular fashion updates. Some videos included her mother and Srin as they shared how close they are. So when Anne Srin told her daughter she'd been having an affair and was being blackmailed, Mahet came up with a plan that would lead to the young man's death. 21-year-old Saqib Hussein had been threatening to send sex tapes to Ansreen's husband unless she paid him back around £3,000 he'd spent on dates with her. So this Don, this guy, RIP, was fucking that TikToker girl's mum. Not the TikToker, the mum. Keep that in mind. This is so, such a fucked up story. This guy's fucking the TikToker's mum, who's married. Then, for some reason, I guess they fall out. And he decides to threaten her with um, revenge porn, I guess you call it. And then she decides to call up her daughter and say, hey, we got to sort this guy out because he's trying to break up mum and dad. <laughs> yeah. And they essentially fucking, you know, chased him around the fucking motorway until he fucking died. Crazy story. Let's continue. On the night of the killing, they'd arranged a meeting in a supermarket car park in Leicester. A Saqib and a friend arrived in a Skoda, Mahek and her mother were in an Audi marked in red. Other people they knew were in the car marked in blue. After deciding not to get out, the young men pulled away, followed by the other two cars. They were captured still following the Skoda as it headed towards the A46. By the time they got here to the dual carriageway, the Audi had reached a speed of almost 100 miles an hour. Saki Hussein made a panicked 999 call, saying, they're trying to ram me off the road. I'm begging you, I'm going to die. There was then a scream and the sound of a loud crash. The car had hit a tree. Both Saqib Hussein and his friend Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin died as the car then burst into flames. Police visited yeah. Mahek, but she lied about where she'd been. Where, you, where was that? So we, well, so we first we stayed here, and then we went straight to uh, <laughs> As soon as I've turned around, this silver car's gone. She sounds like Brendan Schaub telling a story, isn't it, right? You can already know she's lying from the hand movement. She sounds like fucking Brendan Schaub telling a story. Fuck, you know. I can tell liars now. Way, I can spot liars way more now because of all the times I've spoken about Brendan Schaub on this live stream. It's pretty weird, isn't it? It's pretty wild, pretty weird. But hey, what can you do? But after her arrest, her story changed. She admitted she had been on the road in Leicester, but claimed she wasn't involved in the crash. The silver car swerved to not my side, to the other side of the dual carriageway where the, the metal bits are, basically. And I didn't see the car after that. I didn't hear a bang. During the trial, she admitted she'd lied repeatedly to the police. I think sometimes it's been very hard for the families uh, to um, grasp, um, to hear different accounts. Um, no um, real admission of guilt or feelings of, for, 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 the, for, for the two lads that, that died. From the glamour of TikTok stardom to convicted killers, Bakari and her mother now face long sentences in prison. Yo, South Asian people are fucking very, what's your thing called? South Asian people are, what's that thing about families and shit? When you say it's territorial, what's that thing where you're like, they're very family orientated, isn't it? Because I couldn't imagine a scenario where any other family, mem where any other person in the family, whether it was a, yeah, I can't imagine any other community of people who would do something like this? Like your mum gets caught having an affair with some younger dude. She asks you for help. And then the first thing you want to do is go and ram the kid off of fucking, you know, drive around and wrap. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like South Asian people are very, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a, it's, I actually think it's oddly enough a really good thing. Like how fucking family orientated these people are. Like they don't, they don't mess when it comes to their family and they don't play no games. Like you're not going to, you're not going to break up my family. You're not going to embarrass my mum. We're not playing those games. You know, they don't play around. So the fact that the mum, the kid, again, think about this. Keep this in mind, guys. It's the young boy 
who was smashing this girl's mum behind the dad's back, I guess. Then for some reason, he wanted to blackmail the mum with revenge porn. Then the mum got her daughter involved to help her. And they decided to kind of do this thing where they were going to follow the, the guys around in a car, which essentially led to them crashing and dying because the car went into flames and shit. So it's actually quite wild that, because I don't think any other community of people where their daughter would do that, any other person, I think even African people, the daughter would go like, nah, mum, you fucked up, innit? But you're not going to, or even if you do back your mum up, you're not going to, you're not going to willingly go out and try and commit murder with your mum. Do you know what I mean? But this is, wow, this is definitely like ride or die mother and daughter fucking relationship. The only thing that's kind of wired off of this is just who I feel bad for. I feel bad for the boy that got into the car with his friend who was obviously the one, you know, smashing the mum because he did nothing. He was just there to support his friend and he just died, you know, he just kind of like a like a casualty of of war basically um you kind of end up dying for just nothing he did nothing wrong but the other part of me also thinks to myself um what happened to the to the revenge porn have they got rid of it did they all get destroyed or is it all out there i wonder if it's something that everybody in that community has kind of seen because i think leicester has a big population of like indian and pakistani people so it probably most likely people in that community have already all seen the fucking footage anyway do you know what I mean? So these guys essentially died for nothing because it's all been put out there. Most likely her husband did divorce her, is in the process of doing it. She's probably going to spend a lot of time behind bars. It's just a very unfortunate and tragic situation. But I couldn't imagine any of, I'm trying to think, I couldn't imagine any other culture where the daughter would willingly help the mum in, you know, at, you know, in committing a murder because of a mistake that she done, you know? I think the other way around it would happen. I think the other way around, most cultures, the other way around, the mom's always going to fucking ride for the daughter. But what other culture can you think of? Like, white people definitely wouldn't do that. A white girl would definitely not do that for her mom. She's definitely not killing anybody. <laughs> She's not doing that. But South Asian people are like, they don't fuck around when it comes to marriages and all that shit. They don't, they don't like getting divorced, but they're also very freaky behind the scenes because that guy was very young. You know what I mean? She had no business smashing that really young dude to be honest she kind of fucked up in her own regard but hey what can you do what are you guys saying in the chat actually ted you saying it's not tribal type it's just crazy family um duh, 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 duh. it's just a it's not, it's crazy family i don't know people who will ride or die for criminals yeah true good point support his friends blackmail lol no i don't think he's no I, I don't think you can blame the guy in the car man he didn't support the friends black he's just been a good friend just because you go with your friend to go and you know, make sure you got his back. It doesn't mean you support the fucking blackmail. I think most friends will do that with their friend, and if they're gonna go meet somebody up for something, they're gonna go help them out as much as they can. All parties involved went about everything the wrongest way. I agree with you, Uche. Banner says I'm going to need a review of the evidence. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> oh yeah, Daddy gonna get all the money while in jail. Yeah, hopefully he does anyway. Um, big ups. Yeah, big up Koila. Nice to see you, my friend. Hope you're good. Seven dirty is there. Revenge porn only stings for about a week. Exactly. 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 It's not that, it really isn't that deep, man. It really isn't that deep. Like no one's gonna be searching for her Desi revenge porn for average. I mean, people are gonna watch it, bust a quick night and keep it moving. But hey, what do I know in it? I'm just a young boy living in a fucking crazy city, talking out my fucking ass.